But earlier in the week, I told you about another construction project out in Broken Arrow, and it's on one of the busiest roads getting in and out of the city. It's 91st Street or Washington, depending on what you call it, between Garnett and Olive. And you can expect that construction to last for quite some time. They're having to move a lot of um, underground utilities like gas, water, and any overhead lines that may be over there as well. First, the utility relocation. Then in the summer, work begins on expanding the lanes on 91st from 3 to 5, which means there are more drivers coming to and from one of the fastest growing cities in the state. More people means more cars, and we do need to expand our roadway so that people don't get caught in traffic jams. You'll also see a reduced speed limit of 25 miles per hour. Something law enforcement isn't messing around with. There's men out there, women out there that are working and they're paying attention to the utilities they're having to relocate. And so we want them to be safe. And so we're asking people to slow down and be more patient as they're going on their commute. And this isn't the entire project. Once Washington is expanded from Garnett to Olive, crews will start work from Olive to Aspen, making a two mile stretch of five lanes. So with lower speeds and some lane closures, you're bound to see more delays and backup. But in the end, if you wait a year, you're gonna have a wider road, which means more cars will be able to get through and it'll speed up your commute. So asking a lot of folks to be patient out there. The project on Washington or 91st Street, depending on what you guys call it out there, from Garnet to Olive is going to wrap up in uh, 2020, so early next year. And then they're going to start on that next mile stretch. But I mean, like we said right there, you know, it just means there are more people coming in and out of the city of Broken Arrow. Right. There's, that's a quick way to get on and off right there of Highway 169. So it's just a good thing. So just stick it out, hang in there. You'll see some backup because of the construction, but definitely it'll pay off in the long run. Yeah, absolutely. And just allot yourself a little bit extra time. Yeah, abide by those signs too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I saw two people get stopped. The the 10 or so minutes I was out there getting video, <laughs> I saw two people get stopped because they were going a little too fast in that construction zone. So yeah. they're no, watching. No, no. They're looking out for you. No, <laughs> All right, thanks, All right. Travis.